first station over there we maxed out pretty much 147 kilowatts on a 150 kilowatt charger this one we're getting pushing 240 kilowatts Okay, first Ionic 5 road trip. Were fully charged, did have 1% phantom drain overnight, but there you go. 270 miles on the GOM, that will definitely go down. Got some accumulated info here, let's reset that. Onward. Okay, Albany, New York. Got a solid 173 miles there. Could probably have gone a good 10, 15 more. Relatively comfortable. So we're pretty close to the 200 miles at highway speeds. Constant 75 miles an hour, pretty much. Plus the uh, hills of the Berkshires kind of always taking our toll. This is probably closer to what we'll get in the Bolt in winter. But uh, with the bigger pack and the faster charging, that should hopefully offset this. But we have a another Ionic there on the 350 kilowatt. And we'll get the other one here. Hip up. But we'll get plugged in. Okay, that fired right up first time. The uh, fun thing about a new car is you get to talk to other owners. So I missed the first five minutes or so, but it powered up to about... 120 kilowatts to start. I haven't looked at my phone yet to see what uh, temperature we're on. I have low washer fluid, but we're on, uh, it'll be a bit slower to 80% here than uh, the 18 minutes, but not far off. And there's not much time. The Panera is just over there. I've got to walk the dog, go meet the family, and uh, take some pictures. So that's going to be tough. I saw a Maki pulling out. I've got a Taycan waiting here. I've got a Volkswagen ID4 over there. And a dog ready to go.
Okay, so a slightly earlier stop, but uh, handily placed evolved New York site. Starting off at 10%, cranking up to 140-ish. Okay, so we're only on the 150 here, because uh, the 350 is taken. But here we go, plus 300 miles, just over 300 miles in. Uh, headwinds taking a toll, or side winds from the southwest, taking their toll on our efficiency there, even as we get into slightly flatter areas. Okay, so this is really just for vanity. We are maxing out the 150 kilowatt but the ID4 who was on this one left, and it does make sense because if I was a CCS car, I would only use the CCS one. These two have Chadamo. So it's a bit of a different uh, setup than usual, only the three stations. But whilst we're at a low-ish state of charge, I'm gonna plug into the 350 kilowatts, see if it makes much of a difference. Okay, so 147 kilowatts and 12 minutes to 80%. We'll move stations and see what happens. Probably lost myself the time just by switching across, but uh, science. Tough to see, but that starts up. This one started first time, no problem. This one was being used. 35 cents a kilowatt hour. Charging has started. Let's see where we end up. Be interesting if this is less somehow. It should theoretically go to a very similar place at least and if it's capable of more it should give us more and we beat it there we go okay so it was worth switching although i lost two minutes probably moving the space but we're gonna crank out we're gonna hit the top speed here 235 maybe 230 32. Okay, so it was worth moving because we'll get that for a little bit, not for much, maybe maybe another 5-10%, but we hit that full speed until it uh, ramps down for the higher state of charge and the heat building up. Not doing a very good job of torque purring these sessions, but uh, there it is. So even though it cost a minute or two, that was definitely worth doing. First station over there, we maxed out pretty much 147 kilowatts on a 150 kilowatt charger. This one we're getting pushing 240 kilowatts. So uh, yeah, I did take some time to move, but they both activated, gave us a chance to make sure both work, no problem. And uh, shows the difference, I guess. You know, not gonna be a huge, huge difference, but uh, between plugging into this one, if it's available, plugging into that one, we'll have that peak of about uh, 80 kilowatts, 90 kilowatts more. So worth doing in this case. Might not always be the case, but this time, definitely helped us out. Thank you, Marabito. Thank you, of old New York. Good site, well placed for the throughway, I-90 and I-81. So let's unplug. There you go, got to 90%. Looks like we didn't pay for this, that's odd. I thought we would have to for the Evolve New York Electrify America sites, but maybe not. We'll see in the app, I guess. In any case, juiced up, ready to go.
Tawaga, however you pronounce it, Station 1. The app always lags the station itself. Around 11% according to the car. Car announces charging started. There's the location. So we're making good time here. I always kind of lose track of the numbers once we're into our 400, 500 miles, but uh, whatever. Fair enough. And it's been a bear though, with uh, the weather has taken a turn for the worst. It's not torrential, but it's definitely gray skies, gloomy, blustery. The wind is coming from the southwest, so we're heading kind of mostly into it. And you could tell that by, uh, we were at 2.7, 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour through uh, Massachusetts. And pretty much similar speeds, trying to peg at 75 miles an hour and actually maybe a bit faster than in New York. In New York, we've been uh, a bit more traffic, a little slower at some parts, maybe more like 70 miles an hour. And we still haven't been able to recover this. So it's dropped down to 2.6 when we were around Syracuse and now 2.5 as we headed over to Buffalo. But we are making good time and we'll probably be meeting people here in Erie. So that is where things will um, end up kind of slowing down because we're going to have a leisurely dinner. We'll charge the car probably at the Walmart, but we'll stop and have a sit down meal. So I'll kind of cap the uh, distance there and say, well, how long would it have taken? Probably another hour to do this last Cleveland thing. So whenever we get into Erie, plus one hour, that's roughly what I'm going to call the journey. If we were trying to really just hammer it and not stop or not uh, waste any time. We're on the 350 kilowatt station here. So 120 around this level is a bit low. You'd hope for more like 160, 170, but it's probably gonna ramp up here as we go along. No big deal either way. We just wanna kind of uh, keep things cranking along. And did actually have to stop at another place where they do have chargers, Ontario Travel Plaza. Uh, it was 100 kilowatt there, but we didn't plug in, just an in and out to uh, deal with bladder range anxiety. But looking good, and now it's time for a puppy break. the greatest Erie, Pennsylvania. Needs to sort its life out. We've managed to eat and it would have been slow anyway, but uh, we're queuing up. Wanted to give the Kona first dibs because he had low state of charge. We'll juice up afterwards. No big deal for this. Eat, walk the dog, etc. But uh, 
these three are out. So out, out, the one I'm parked next to out, only the Chadamo CCS combo is in. So anybody who turns up after the one that's plugged in is SOL. Okay, here are our trip stats for the whole thing. 665 miles from Boston to Cleveland, Ohio, just the western suburbs. 2.6 miles per kilowatt hour, not especially healthy. Now temperatures were around this, a little bit higher into the 50s for the nicer part of the day. Uh, in Massachusetts we saw closer to this number, 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour. It uh, shows what we've been doing recently in the last kind of 90 to 100 miles um, to Cleveland and that has been good that was better um, and the first couple of hours was also 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour in Massachusetts um, because we were in nicer conditions it was dry we did have some elevation as we usually do but um, not too bad so at highway speeds I think it seems you know at this temperature under three miles per kilowatt hour is probably what's going to happen it gets a little bit closer to that when you're in uh, fine conditions and dry uh, on the New York Thruway once we kind of posted past Albany it started to drop and it was hard to get above this uh, 2.6 miles per kilowatt hour rate because we had headwinds coming up from the southwest and uh, the rain started in the middle of the state so started to get some more adverse conditions the temperature wasn't especially great although we had warmed up the pack so charging wasn't affected but you know it wasn't the best temperature in the world for efficiency you prefer to be around uh, 70s 80s for that we arrived in with uh, a little over 30 percent i'm gonna have to look at the phantom drain on this see if there's much of that but uh, I think we we're at least at 30% and we've lost maybe a percent overnight. But essentially this is what I want to record for the um, Boston to Cleveland portion of the journey before we do local driving and it kind of throws out that um, miles per kilowatt hour. The timer here is kind of useful in terms of how much the car has been on, but obviously you can see it ticking up if I'm not driving. So that could be some times when we're just uh, sitting in the car waiting for people, whatever else. So it doesn't necessarily mean drive time specifically. And that's that. Boston to Ohio part of the trip done. A week or so of knocking around Ohio. And then we'll see how we do, what the conditions are on the way back. But for now, time to get plugged in.